Red is a it's a play that's uh, subject matter uh, focuses on uh, Mark Rothko um, at a certain period in his life where he was working on um, a group of paintings called the Seagram murals. He was hired by the Seagram Corporation to paint a series of murals for this brand new restaurant at the time that became the Four Seasons restaurant. And um, it was the, the commission that they paid him was probably the largest commission that any American artist has ever received to date to create this series of paintings. Now, you know, commissions are made every day, but the fact that they chose Mark Rothko, who was very anti-establishment, you know, very anti-corporation, by a large corporation to make these murals has always been a source of like mystery and controversy. Historically he went through this whole thing of painting these murals but at the last minute decided that he wouldn't give them the, the, the paintings. Sent the check back, kept them, you know, and kept the paintings. The playwright sort of speculates maybe what the process went through his mind about why he did what he did, but uses um, uh, an assistant, a young kind of 20-something assistant who comes in to help work on these paintings to have this dialogue and the dialogue is covers everything from like you know what is art and what you know what does do artists of one generation owe to the artists of the next generation coming up and what does an artist as 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 he's getting older leave as a legacy for the younger artists or take from artists that have gone before um, so that's kind of like one kind of like thread that kind of goes through the play. But it's also a play about, you know, mentors and pupils and, you know, parents and kids. Rothko was very, uh, really believed in that relationship between the viewer and the painting. It was very much a conversation, you know, of like, you know, you had to sort of spend some time with the painting almost in a meditative way to really get that cycle of kind of communication and they talk about that in the play that it's not like a a landscape painting that's just there and there's the sheep there's the tree and there and you know it doesn't really just shows you something as opposed to a painting that that depending on the viewer and depending on the moment and depending on the quality of the lighting is different it changes it moves it it's always in constant flux.